after taking a photograph, the kids, the grandkids, only to have it quite blurry or maybe you cut everyone's heads off. There are a few simple things you can do to ensure you get a great photograph every time and Jamie Malcolm has more. Photography is fast becoming Australia's most popular hobby. We buy over 2 million digital cameras a year, and that's not including the 7 million camera phones we own. But it's no good having access to all the right equipment if you don't have the skills to take a good photo. Photographer Vanessa Forbes has been taking family portraits for over 20 years and specialises in child photography. OK, so just because you've got a beautiful camera like this doesn't mean to say that you're going to get fantastic shots. Okay. So I've got some tips for you today that are really going to help you out. Brilliant. Well, let's go take some photos. OK, let's go. Come on. Our three models for the day are six-year-old Sophie, four-year-old Nick and little Eloise, who's 20 months old. This is where we normally take photos of the kids, uh, wide open spaces in a park. Now, with my kids here, I would normally have them outside in the direct sunlight to take a photo, but that's wrong, isn't it? Absolutely. First of all, you're going to be having them squinting. Okay. Um, also, you'll have shadows directly under their eyes right. and under their nose and their chins. Now, what about the light behind them? That's no go either, is it? No, if you have the light behind them, they won't be squinting, but what will happen is they'll be all dark and you won't be able to see their faces either. Oh. What we want to do is we want to bring them into the shade where the light is much more even. It's just even across their face and we can see into their eyes properly. We can see the expression in their eyes and, and their smile. It's, it's a beautiful way to shoot your child is to make sure that you put them into the shade. I've also done another couple of things to really make this shot fantastic. Okay, what have you done? So I've actually positioned them so that their faces are in a lot closer than okay. what they would be, what they would normally be. Yeah, sure. And I've shot from an angle from above. I see much more of their face in the shot than their body. The other thing that I've done is I've, I've entertained them at the same time. The biggest mistake that most people make is they ask their children to smile. And that's not the right thing They never thing to do, do it. Don't ask your children to smile. <laughs> okay. Because if you do that, they're going to have these locked, funny expressions. It's not their, their natural personality coming through. Another way to get natural expressions from your kids is have them moving. Crouch down to their level and have them run at the camera. But again, make sure you snap them in the shade. And the best thing about all these tips, they work for adults too. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. The mother boys don't know how to act. <laughs> I particularly like this one, Jamie. OK, coming up, musician and mum, Kate Sobrano, joins us live in the studio. Also your chance to win a $40,000 caravan. But after the break, do you tip uh, your waiter, hotel staff, the cab driver? Should we be paying extra on top or keeping that money in our wallet? Join the debate next. <laughs> The Honeymoon Death Dive on the Barrier Reef. He's in jail in Australia. The case that shocked the world is not over yet. Nine News, tonight. See that number?